I'd like to put some things in perspective for you because we are about to talk about some theorems which may seem like why are we doing this? But what we're going to talk about is Rolle's theorem and that is used to prove the mean value theorem. And the mean value theorem is really important theorem. In fact, some people, or, or I've read that it's the most important theorem in calculus. And, and part of that reason is because it's used to prove the fundamental theorem of calculus. So we use the mean value theorem to prove the fundamental theorem of calculus. To me, that sounds pretty important. The fundamental theorem of calculus sounds pretty important, and if we need these two other theorems to prove it, then we probably should learn them if we're, if we're taking a calculus class. So that's what we're going to do right now. Why don't we learn Rolle's theorem, and then we'll learn the mean value theorem. Okay. So Rolle's theorem is all about, it's all about being able to find a critical number, essentially. If you have a function and the height at, at two separate points is the same. So let me show you. So here's my little parabola. And this could go on in, in both directions. But let's say, let's say that we just cut it off, we chop it up at these two points A and B. So here's A and here's B. Now their heights are equal. They have equal heights, which means what? If we were to write that out mathematically to say equal heights, all we'd have to say is f prime, oh, not f prime, I'm jumping ahead of myself. f of a is equal to f of b, right? The height at a is equal to the height at b. Okay. Now, assuming that this function is continuous and differentiable, meaning that there's not going to be a sharp turn or anything like that, so if this function is continuous and differentiable and and you have these two heights that are equal then you can be sure that there's some critical number f prime of c that equals 0. So you can be sure that there's a critical number there where where you take the derivative at, at a certain point and and the slope is 0. In other words, you can be sure that that the slope at some point becomes horizontal. And we can see on on this graph pretty easily that it's right there. Now why does this this theorem make sense? Why does it make sense? Well, think about it. If if you have a if you have two points, oop, this is from a from a long time ago. Sorry about that. Just doing some cleaning up. Do 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 do. Let's see, did I do a good job? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, where was I? Um, if you have two points that are, are equal heights, that are at an equal height, here and here, well, the only way to go between them is, one, you can go, you can go in a straight line, which, okay, Rolle's theorem already, already, we know that that works because all f prime of c equals zero. The derivative at any point you pick is equal to zero. So you know there's at least one number where where the derivative is equal to zero. Okay. So if the line is horizontal, that's fine. What if the line, or what if we connect the two points by going up and down? Well, then we have a, a, a relative maximum, and we know that the derivative at the top is zero. Same thing about going down. Then we'd have a relative minimum. What if we go up and down and whatever, however we want to get there? Well, you know, as long as these two heights are equal, we're going to have to, if we go up, we're going to have to come back down. And that's going to create some sort of maximum or some sort of minimum where we know the slope is zero. So we know for sure if the two heights are equal, then in that interval, the derivative at some point, we just call it c, must be equal to zero at at least one point. Here it's pretty clear that we have several points where that happens. Okay, 
And and don't forget that we said that the, that these functions have to be differentiable because you you could imagine the situation where you have this. Now that's one way to get there, but the derivative is not zero there. It doesn't exist. Okay. So I I hope that helps you understand Rolle's theorem. Basically, if you if you ever have a function where two two different points are have equal heights, so f of a equals f of b, then you can be sure that somewhere in the middle you have some point, some value c, where the derivative at c is equal to zero. And that's just exactly what we just said. So, so here, here is where, this is where c would be. Now, make a note that Rolle's theorem doesn't tell you how to find c. It just tells you that it exists. It doesn't give you any instructions on, okay, to find c, you got to do this, this, or that. It just tells you that it, it must be there. Okay, so it's called an existence theorem for that reason. All right, let's look at the mean value theorem in the next, in the next video. See you then.